of all the information that must be in your brain. Salmon are big. You see one? Not one. I mean, salmon are like this. You think I'm telling you fish are... When you look at this sheet I produced for everybody who came to work on the show, this is in 1992. It says, the objective, change the world. That's the objective. That was the goal of the show. For many, many people around the world, climate change is, is uh, going to change their lives in the worst way thinking. We've got to have scientifically literate people to solve the world's problems. Like, if I can get out there and speak about this issue, I will. With a remarkably thin layer of atmosphere that is warming our world faster than ever in measurable geologic history. It's the challenge for you and your classmates. Back in the day on the Evolution Show, this is around 1994 or 5. See, the children of living things are always different from their parents, but not completely different. I mean, they're related. Somebody from public broadcasting called the office and said, no, be sure to say it's only a theory. Evolution. I said, no, I'm not going to say it's only a theory. Like, uh, using the term only. I mean, it's a fantastic theory in the true sense of a theory, but I, I know what the person on the phone was driving at. Uh, that fight, I really will fight. If you have this idea that the Earth is only 6,000 years old, you are denying, if you will, everything that you can touch and see. This got me in a little bit of trouble, but now I, I say trouble, controversy. I say, now bring it on. What makes it political is when you want to use tax dollars intended for science education to teach this uh, obviously wrong idea. You can't, you're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to change any minds when the other person starts screaming. Bill, no, you don't want to go here. You know why? Because I'm well, going to show second, the CO2 agree, correlation. Do you agree that the planet Venus is warm because it has a lot of carbon dioxide in its atmosphere? And I say warm, warm enough to I, melt I, lead on its surface. Uh, if I can get myself onto uh, news shows where they would not normally have a person of my belief and bent get on the inside, that to me is the best. That reinforces the message the most, the, the strongest. Populations compete for places to live, things to eat, but it's getting harder and harder to compete with the human population. So we're coming up this summer, on the tw this fall, on the 20th anniversary of the Science Guy Show. This was a conscious decision. I'm going to influence kids. I'm going to influence young people. Get them excited about science so in the future we'll have more scientists. So as near as I can tell, people were influenced. And I think we made it in a warehouse in Seattle. Like it was just, you know, 40 people kind of messing around. It's really, uh, it's really gratifying.